I've been on console uh, for every single launch since Flight 1. I don't know if that means I'm crazy or what, but um, I mean, how can you miss them? They're exciting and they're, you know, stressful, but, uh, but the reward is, is immeasurable. For the first launch of Electron, um, my role was centered at the launch site, uh, running the countdown for the local team, um, all from a very uh, makeshift mission control room um, down at the launch site. It was essentially a 40-foot sea container. It was um, quite intense. There was always things you could predict that could go wrong, and then there was always something that you couldn't quite predict that came out of nowhere. A lot of hard work from the team, a lot of really quick thinking, a lot of um, really just good engineering decisions made. You know, as you could sort of went through the launch procedures on the day, you could tell we were getting better and closer every time. Uh, once it finally lifted off the pad, I think the first thing I felt was was this huge sense of relief. Um, probably half a second later, this terrifying fear that it was, you know, going to go okay, and and uh, I hope that it went okay. And, and ultimately, it, you know, for the most part, it, it went very well. And... When I was a kid, I told my parents I wanted to work for NASA. Um, and I didn't have any particular dreams of what that would be. I just thought space is awesome, NASA is awesome. Sounds like a bit of me. Having grown up as a kid, I remember having a space shuttle birthday cake one year and things like that. So to be at a point where we're actually launching payloads for NASA was a big deal. Hard to pick a favorite mission. I think each one has its own story uh, to tell. Flight One's obviously special because it, it went from um, a dream to some hard work to reality so that was that was really cool to see but I think all our major milestone missions for government customers have been really impressive to pull off. I think my favorite mission is still number four so that was the NASA Alana mission we did. Um, definitely some of our recovery missions there's a, a really special feeling watching a, a rocket you know go to space but watching it come back under a parachute and splash down gently in the ocean that's pretty wild as well. Um, the moon mission has been a highlight. Probably the capstone mission. That mission required us to fundamentally change some of our main products like the LOX pump, the Carol pump, our injectors, and just being part of the team that made the smallest rocket reach the moon is the coolest thing ever, right? I can't pick just one, so I'll have to pick two, and that would be the two NASA Tropics missions that we did last year. Um, I think I just loved the purpose of that mission and what those satellites were aiming to do, and it was so exciting to be working with NASA and MIT Lincoln Labs. And on top of that one, I didn't manage this mission, but I think the first mission from LC2. Flight 33, which was our first launch from LC2, um, that was years of work, you know, from a ton of people to make that happen. All of the hard work that we've put in to launch Electron from New Zealand, bringing that to a new continent, and having new challenges and getting to all work together to achieve this goal, which was like such a huge goal for so long for this company. I'll never forget how much work that was, but how rewarding it was too. I think my favorite mission name's gotta probably be Baby Comeback, mostly because it got stuck in my head the entire time we were doing that launch campaign. <laughs> I think one of the main reasons for success has been the company culture. As we grew, we've always maintained the, uh, this effort to keep the culture. And I mean, if you look anywhere here, um, everything looks high quality, everything looks beautiful. Um, this sets the culture. Brock Lab has a very uh, unique camaraderie and I think it's it's important to be able to go out to different sites to New Zealand to the US to you know uh, wallops and so on you have different cultures different people combining ideas um, on top of that Rocket Lab also allows you to take about as much responsibility as you can right so like the more responsibility you want um, the more you can get as long as you can kind of continue to produce um, and I, I find it to be a very unique combination the barrier to entry is so high, it is a very tough challenge and we had the right people at the right time at the right place to make it happen. Everyone is harder than the next, um, but that keeps it interesting. So, you know, there's, there's genuinely nothing I'd rather do. I think my message to the, you know, the foundational Electron team and, and the team that carries through right now is that, you know, firstly, uh, take a minute to, to be proud of what we've achieved. I think it's incredible to see what Electron uh, was and is becoming. There's a lot of growth for Electron to continue. Um, it, we've done things like interplanetary 
through to suborbital and it feels like we're kind of in some ways just getting started for what Electron can continue to do. So just as we pioneered to bring Electron to market, I think there's just amount of pioneering and, and development to go moving forward uh, to bring Electron to many other applications. So my name is Cruz Shokura. Um, I'm a vehicle integration technician at Rocket Lab. I have been at Rocket Lab for three days. Um, I think it was just by chance that I started and it was the 50th. Yeah, it'll be my first time seeing a launch this close, so I'm pretty excited.